And you cannot come to God alone through your mind. Our natural minds have been affected by sins. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 3, 14, their minds were blinded. In 2 Corinthians 4, 4, the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them that believe not. The God of this world is the devil. The Bible teaches there is a devil. There are demons. And they have the power to blind your mind towards spiritual things. In the futility of their thinking, they are darkened in their understanding, says Paul in Ephesians, the fourth chapter. Now, that's the New International Version, by the way, that particular scripture I just quoted. Now, the Bible teaches in Titus 1 that our minds are defiled. In Daniel 5, it says they're filled with pride. In 1 Timothy 6, 5, it says they're corrupt. In Ephesians 4, it says they're filled with vanity. In Proverbs 21, it says they're wicked. With all of our stockpiles of knowledge, do you know what we've learned? We've learned something that Adam and Eve did not know in the Garden of Eden. We've learned the knowledge of evil. Adam and Eve gained the knowledge of evil when they sinned against God. God never meant that we were to know what evil was. He created us perfect human beings. We were to live thousands of years on this planet. We were to build a wonderful world with God's help. But we rebelled against God, and we gained the knowledge of evil. And now we've reached the point in civilization where with all of our knowledge, we have now invented the atomic bomb and the hydrogen bomb and chemical weapons and computers and all the rest that make it so that man can be wiped out in a matter of hours. What can we do? Receive Christ. Let him dominate your mind. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. The scripture says you can be transformed in your thinking. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Give your mind to Christ. Yes, there's going to be peace because Christ is the Prince of Peace. He's going to bring peace. But only through God are we going to find peace. You can have peace in your heart right now. You can have peace of mind right now by surrendering your life and your heart to Jesus Christ. The Bible says God made the wisdom of this world look foolish. The world failed to find him by its wisdom, and he chose to save those who have faith in the folly of the gospel. Notice he calls the gospel folly. The gospel is folly to this world that has its mind blinded and affected by the devil. You see, sin is a disease. It's also a disease of the mind. It's worse than Alzheimer's disease or any other disease that you can think of. It's destructive, and we all have it. The Bible says all have sinned. What can we do about it? Come to the cross. Let Christ forgive your sins, change your life, turn you in a new direction, and give you a new mind because Christ can become the Lord of your mind as well as your body and as well as your soul. And then Solomon was not only the smartest man and the most brilliant man that ever lived and the best educated, but he gave himself to great pleasures. In Ecclesiastes 2, 1, he said, I said in my heart, go to now, I will prove thee with laughter, therefore I'm going to enjoy pleasure. He had every sensual pleasure that you can imagine. The Bible describes in details all that he had. He had the finest swimming pool you've ever read about. It was flanked by 12 lions of gleaming bronze. He drank the finest wines in golden goblets. He had 700 wives and 300 concubines. Talk about sex. He had it. More than any of you will ever have. And every pleasure that you could think of was at his beck and call. He did what many of you would like to do, but you can't afford it. Some people are good because they can't afford to be bad. But God doesn't count that. Some sin is expensive. With every imaginable device of pleasure and lust at his fingertips, Solomon sat out under the stars one night and contemplated the emptiness of it all. <laughs> 